My name is George, and this is Dan, and we play in Death Heaven. The kids nowadays, you're meeting a lot of them. You have a lot of fans coming up. What do you think are some of the factors that account for that style of music finally becoming accepted by mass audiences, whereas for the last couple of decades it really wasn't? I mean, I guess it would have to depend on the, you know your uh, your view on black metal as a whole and what you consider black metal to be or not to be. Um, I think in a lot of ways, uh, you know, black end metal, or however you want to you know, throw it, you know, whatever category you want to throw it into, has been pretty you know popular. I think that when you you know when you talk about the mainstream, it's just right now media is so much more accessible. Uh, it's, it's more accessible to get to, and it's also more accept uh, more accessible to get in contact with. And there's a lot of writers who grew up listening to metal and still do, and now they you know type for Spin or, or Rolling Stone or what have you. And so there's so much you know there's so much of it coming out that it's just easy to slip in articles here and there about more uh, underground bands. I, I don't know, I, I guess that would be a factor. Um, I think melody has been put into that style of music for a long time and, and usually that attracts um, a broader audience. Uh, yeah. It's definitely you know, conducive to involving melody, the style of songwriting and I guess the straightforwardness of it, the the upfrontedness of it, it's yeah. kind of no no bullshit really, kind of aggressive and raw, but still you know melodic and yeah. listenable, yeah, so. emotional. And I don't know, it, it, it's just time. I think you know everything to a certain extent catches on given enough time. Mm -hmm. cool. yeah, what kind of struggles have you gone through in recent years to get that that's I guess guided you where you've ended up today? Stuff you've had to you know fight through and work through to 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 survive. I think we, you know, we all have gone through our personal struggles. Uh, I mean, from a musical aspect, I guess we did all grow up being directly involved in really aggressive, uh, angry music. I guess you could say, but that's something that's kind of, kind of subsided over the years. You know, as you know, tastes change and preferences change, and I mean, I would say that as far as experiences that we've gone through, it's pretty much just. Average kids, you know, American yeah, I, kids like I, I, growing up in in California. Yeah, I, I would say it's it's akin to most people's general struggles. Uh, I think it's just more in how you reflect on it and your reaction to it and how you filter your reaction. Uh, for this band and for what we've been doing through our adolescence and adulthood, it's channeling into um, aggressive music, and uh, for other people, it's not that. And that's I don't know, but I don't think you know. Nothing, nothing worth mentioning, I guess, that the band doesn't already speak on uh, with like a lyrical level and, and things like that. Just kind of day-to-day -day things, mm -hmm. reactions to life around you. Tell you that you've helped that right. your music has helped them through certain certain things or are there any common threads that, that that you notice among your fans among people kids nowadays? Yeah, I think um, I mean it's happened just a few times. Um, people talk about like an illness in their family or um, maybe a recently failed relationship or you know something like that that they said they had experienced. Um, at the same time that they were getting into the record and it sort of did something for them um, on that level, which is cool. I mean, that's, you know, that's part of the reason they're written in the way they are, so that people can identify with them. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely very cool to hear, because I mean, we all have our albums like that for us that we associate with certain circumstances in our lives, so it's pretty amazing to be that for somebody else. Mm -hmm, sure. What do you think are some of the factors that account for this, I guess, in the, like, over-independence or, or disconnectedness from one another that seems to be, uh, you know, anemic in society nowadays? 
Um, I don't know. I think, I, th I think people have always felt alienated from one another. I think it's just today you're able to do something about it. And you're able to, if you want, be by yourself. And I think people have probably carried a lot of those feelings um, you know, throughout human history. And we're just at a point socially that it's become acceptable. And people, so we take advantage of it. Yeah, people are just more vocal about it in general, because I'm sure that's how it's been for, you know, hundreds of years. But, but yeah, just people can actually express themselves either via the internet or, you know, as personal lifestyle choices. And there's not all the uh, the social taboos that used to exist. So I guess people are just kind of more vocal about how they actually feel. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Um, what are the I guess, most important things to you guys? in life, going from day to day, back home, when you're on the road, what things matter to you guys? What inspires you? Uh, I would say just like the little things, you know, just living life in San Francisco, being the age that I am and the, the era that I live in, uh, my family, my friends, my girlfriend, just, just everyday things, you know. Yeah, holding on to the relationships that you have, that's a big part of touring so often is that you have to extend yourself a little bit more than uh, you typically would, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just that kind of thing. Nothing, nothing really too profound. Keeping, keeping relationship together for, uh, for those who are interested in doing so, any words of wisdom? Absolutely not. Uh, I, I mean, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, no comment. <laughs> There's no secret. Uh, I wouldn't say so. I think, or or you, I think maybe to each his own. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can find yours along the way, whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I, I shouldn't be one giving advice. <laughs> you got through a couple struggles yourself. I mean, I think everyone has. I, I just, yeah. I just shouldn't be giving me advice. Impossible okay. not to when you're you know, gone from home for months at a time. It's naturally going to be difficult. Sure. But yeah, just, I'm sure it depends on the individual as to how how much they can take. I guess. Mm -hmm. California, as as here, I actually have a brother who lives in uh, Laguna Niguel, and I was at his wedding last year, and I'd been there in a long time, so that was pretty cool. That's a beautiful city. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I loved it. I can't wait to go back. I'll try this here. You know, what I see there, and I see here, but especially there, is the amount of prescription drug use that's happening. There's so much prescription drug abuse that's happening. Do you guys notice that at all? You mean uh, in like the the older community, like the suburban all parents and whatnot? Or? All communities. Young people, sorting that lot and stuff like that. Yeah. Prescription drugs. Yeah. I feel like that's been a pretty it's per a per perpetual while. thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it, there's a surge in it now or what, but yeah, I mean, people like to I guess alter we could, their mind. We, we kind of grew up when that whole thing started, you know, rolling, I think probably happened before our adolescence, but it's just kind of always been around. I don't know. It's just drugs. It's going to be one way or it's going to be another. They're both giving you essentially the same thing. You think drugs make people's lives better or worse, generally? 100% depends on the individual. Yeah, I mean, yeah. take them, don't take them, whatever you want to do. You know, I know good people on both sides. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is there anything else you guys want to offer in terms of words of wisdom, things for kids to check out, be aware of, look out for? Uh, I guess I would say just a thank you to um, everyone that has uh, supported the band um, up until now and those who will continue to. And 
We look forward to seeing people on the web. Super looking forward to seeing you guys. Thank you. Thank you for your time.